So today we're going to talk about an easy workout, some things you can do while it is going on. So there are times when we are going to do easy workouts, easy bikes, easy runs and swims and, and even lifts, right? But when you're doing some of those easier workouts, there's definitely some patterns and some things you can do. So I'm going to open up this easy workout here and I'm going to analyze it really fast so you can see what's going on here. So this athlete only has RPM and uh, heart rate, which is totally fine, right? So this athlete maintained about an 83 cadence on this one, averaged 81. So when we do these easier workouts, if it's early in the base season and you know you're struggling with your, your cadence, this is an easy time to start increasing that throughout your blocks. So if you're starting out at this 80 RPM, then by the time your race comes around, you should be comfortably able to handle 90, 95 RPM and just kind of spinning here. That's going to flush out a lot, a lot of things on the bike, right, for the, for the bike. And on the run, if you can increase your cadence as well, it's going to be very, very beneficial later on, okay? You're going to be a lot more efficient, and it's going to be a lot easier to do that throughout your training time. So that is the first thing out here. The second thing that we can utilize on this easier workout, instead of just having it be wasted time, is turning it into functional time. And a, an easy way to do that is to incorporate some breathing patterns, okay? So on this easy bike, see if you can try to complete this workout just breathing through your nose, okay? If not, try to minimize the time that you are solely doing that breath from your mouth and just continuously try to improve the amount of time you are breathing out of your nose. That is going to do a host of different benefits, and I'm going to do a different video later on about that, those benefits. But just know that those will come into play later on throughout your training. So these are two really easy things that you can play around with when you're out doing an easy workout, whether it's inside or even outside. From those breathing tricks and tips, you might notice that your heart rate does go up a little bit just trying to breathe through your nose. And obviously, if it's impossible, don't do that. <laughs> but actively working in more time doing that will be beneficial later on. So try to maintain your cadence, right? Try to play some heart rate games with your breathing. You know, turn it into functional time. On the bike specifically, when you're doing an easy workout, play around with how you're putting force out on over the pedals. If you are noticing that you're expending a lot of energy pulling the pedal up, you might want to minimize that and actively focus on going over the top and pushing down. And that is going to be where you're going to get the bread and butter of your pedal stroke. On a run, if you're doing an easy workout here, then instead of simply just going through the motions, try to do it with perfect form, landing underneath your body, using gravity to help you really make it an easy, easy run. Okay, because if you can set up those positive habits in these easier workouts, they are going to translate into the harder workouts later on. And it honestly all starts with these easier workouts. So don't just view these easy workouts as just a throwaway day and just kind of a get through it time. This is the time where you're actively going to be paying attention to a lot of little things uh, that are specific to you. So if you have any questions on this, please let me know, and I'll be happy to go into it on more detail. This is just a brief overview of easier workouts.